Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're enjoying this gorgeous day. I know that I am, my dogs are, we are loving it. Currently, I am washing all of my quilter's cotton fabric that I have in the house. So aside from DIY ferrets videos and things that I do for my ferrets, I also sew um, quilts and DIY, like tote bags for kids and adults. And so I have a ton of fabric, particularly a ton of quilter's cotton, which is, um, one of the best fabrics that you can make DIY masks with. So I am going to, well, I'm currently actually washing all of my Coulter's cotton, so you're supposed to pre-wash that stuff. Um, and once it's done, I'm gonna do a tutorial on face masks. And I thought that you guys would enjoy this because A, it, is, it will help protect um, you and people you are around when you go out. And also if someone in your family or your house ends up sick, God forbid, with COVID-19, and you have to care for your ferrets, it, it would be recommended that you wear some sort of protection around them. There is a new study that was just published a couple of days ago um, that says that they, ferrets and cats, I believe, can, can get COVID-19, but that the effects on cats are minimal and that most of the time it's not even, the symptoms are not even noticeable. As far as them giving it to us, it is not proven 100% that they are able to transmit the virus to humans. Basically how this works is that cats and ferrets have the same receptors in their respiratory systems that humans do. And so therefore they can contract the virus. And the study that came out two days ago are not complete. They are not 100% done. They have not been peer reviewed, so on and so forth. Uh, if you know anything about scientific journals and research studies, uh, there's a whole process that goes into those things that take time. So these are all preliminary findings. So I don't wanna take them and run down the road with them and freak everyone out, as that is not my intention or my job or my qualifications <laughs> so please 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 don't do anything radical or crazy with your animals they are not responsible for for transmitting this so once my fabric's done washing we are going to make some diy face masks so stay tuned for that Hey everybody, so I finally got around to making some masks. I'm gonna show you guys how I made them. I made this one, which is double-sided, and goes like this. So I made this one using hair ties because um, that's I have a ton of these. So what I intend to do is I have a couple of people in my life that are essentially employees who are still going to work. Um, and I really just want to give these to like my local pet store, the people that are there that have to go to work every day. Um, there's some local businesses who remain open, who get lots of people because they're essential businesses. And those people are also at risk. Um, they're at risk because we are coming in there to buy all of our essential needs. So um, not only are our hospitals taxed and they are also at risk and stressed out, so are all of the people that are servicing our food needs and our you know, um, our water, our postal service workers, all of those people are also essential and they are showing up every day to work and putting themselves directly in the line of COVID-19 as well. So I feel like it's important that um, they get some masks too uh, because they're dealing with the, the public constantly, um, just as our doctors and nurses uh, who are, you know, also in a very high risk situation. So without all of those essential people, this really wouldn't function. So I just wanna say thank you and do what I can to the best of my ability. So I, this pattern, um, there is a ton of videos on YouTube offering and online offering free patterns for this. There's also videos that show you how to measure your face so that you can make this exactly to fit your faces for like precisely. I will put a link in the description to one of the videos that is offering the free pattern. I did not create this pattern, so I don't wanna take the credit for it because I didn't do it. So um, I didn't make it and it's awesome and I love it. And I am so incredibly grateful to the person who gave this pattern out for free. And I will share that with you. Um, there are a lot of people doing that and I think it's really awesome. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so you're gonna take a piece of fabric and you're gonna put it right sides together. Take your pattern. You wanna make sure that it fits on here. Okay, so now we have another piece. I just wanna 
let you know that I pre-washed all of this because these are going to be washable. If you don't pre-wash your fabric, um, a lot of times it shrinks cotton. So you want to make sure, especially if you're giving these away, that you are washing this first so that when the people that are using them go to wash them, they don't get misshapen and then don't fit anymore. Okay, so now you have two of each piece, like this. All right, so what we're gonna do now is pin your fabric. All right, and you're gonna sew just along the edge. So you're sewing just along the edge on both, on this one and this one, just right here. your seams open. Okay, so now you have your two pieces. You're going to want to attach your um, elastic or your rubber bands to whichever side is going to be facing you. So I had quarter inch elastic, not very much. But quarter inch is kind of thick, so I cut it in half. This won't work with all elastic. Sometimes when you cut it in half, it loses its integrity. But you can also use hair ties, and you can also create ties with fabric. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mark about maybe a quarter, maybe like a half inch, three quarters of an inch down from each edge, so right about here some of on each side and you're going to want to take one strip of fabric and you're going to just put it there and then you want to pin it in place. It's basically what you should have, okay? Now you can either go and sew these in place or you can just make sure that you stitch over them several times. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take my right sides, I'm going to put them back together. So you want to line these up like this. You want to line up your seams like this, okay? This is where you want to start pinning. Now you're going to want to pin all the way around and you're going to want to leave an opening at the bottom about two or three inches, maybe two inches. You probably could get away with two inches. we're not gonna sew. So we're gonna leave this part open right here. Now we're gonna do a quarter inch seam all the way around. All right, so now you've sewn it together. So what you gotta do is you wanna cut off your strings and you want to cut your corners like this, but don't cut your threads. And then the other thing that you're going to want to do to give you a little bit of room is you're going to want to cut little slits all across this curve. Just don't cut through your, through your fabric. So you're just going to you're going to take your mask and you're going to turn it right side in. So now you want to pin this. So we're going to top stitch all the way around. You're going to want to cut off your string from that top stitch. And there you have your mask.